All right, guys, so we got the axle off. We ended up cutting the nuts off the bolts that held the shackles to the leaf springs. We didn't want to bother trying to loosen them, so we'll shackle off the back of there and then leaf spring to there. And the same thing up here. And these are pretty worn out, but we got some new, we got some new bushings. Hopefully they fit. These are weld on perches. But anyway, we got the trailer standing up on its side so we can wire wheel the bottom of it. And then we're gonna start applying some undercoat product. Over here is our axle. I don't know if you can see it. I mean, you can't really see it in the dark, but it, it's sitting there. We'll do another quick video of putting the axle together when uh, we get to that point. But I just want to show you over here, guys. We went to our trailer supply store and we picked up some new stuff. And we got a new jack leg. That was about $70, $60, $70. And we got a new U-bolt set. How much was that? 25? Maybe 20, 25 bucks. We got a new chain, which came with hooks. This was $15, I think. And we got a pair of these um, to attach it to the trailer on, on the other end. So we're actually going to cut this in half and put one of these on each end. And then we got a pair of four, four, four leaf, leaf springs. Now our old trailer had, or sorry, our old axle had three. Um, so we thought we'd go with the four because they were the same price as the three and I've done this before we did this on our boat trailer where we actually removed I think on the boat trailer we removed two of these because the boat didn't weigh anything but if we find the trailers too too stiff on suspension we can always take one of these out and make it a three pack and then there's new shackle oh there it goes so new shackle bolts and um, Shackle plates, that's the bushings for the trailer, for the, the rear shackle mount. And then we got two bolts and nuts for the, for the front. And then that's our new rear bumper. That's a five inch piece of channel for the back end. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna just keep on keeping on. Hopefully get a, get a coat of undercoat on this thing in the next little bit pretty warm today here it's probably close to 30 degrees so it's perfect weather for applying undercoat to metal it'll uh, dry up and cure nice and quick stay tuned